Hey, what's up guys? So in today's video, um, I'm going to be giving a review on the PlayStation 5 console now that I've had it for seven months now. And uh, don't get like, comment, subscribe, to help support the channel. I really appreciate that. And, you know, and I'm just going to be, you know, keep this video like, you know, just sweet and simple. You know, just keep it, you know, real simple and uh, give you all my thoughts on how I feel about the console and having, you know, a real experience with it, with like its games and its hardware and like settings like i'm gonna be giving you like my review on all that type of stuff but you know i'm gonna try to keep this video like nice and short i don't want to make it like way too long or anything like that and i'm gonna have some gameplay in the background while i'm gonna be talking about the console um and how i feel about it so here we go so the playstation 5 uh it's been out for almost a year now because it came out on november 12th last year in 2020 and you all already know that a playstation 5 is still very hard to get because due to the pandemic you know, it's just crazy how that pandemic just really just affected the gaming industry and like and not just the gaming industry, but just the economy as a whole. It just it's crazy how it really affected all of that, which is just it's just it's nuts. It's just it's absolutely nuts. And you know, the PS5 and same thing with the Xbox Series X and S, like those consoles are also hard to get. And the PS5, um, I was actually able to get mine uh, in February of 2021. I got my, it's crazy because I got the exact date <laughs> on when I got my PS5. I got it on February 19th, 2021. And I got, yeah, so I got it earlier than I, th than I was expecting to get it, like earlier than expected. Uh, Cause I didn't think I was gonna get mine till like 2022, but uh, anyways, here I am rambling right now. <laughs> so, all right, here we go. So I'm gonna get into it. So the PS5, like I said, almost been out for a year now. November 12th is when it came out, uh, and of course, you know, the PS5 came with the series of launch games, and the ones that it likes, and the video games that I that I was uh, able to play on the PS5, uh, and the PS, these are the PS5 versions, of course, of these games. Because some of these games do have a PS4 version, but, uh, yeah, so the PS5 games that I was able to play on the PS5 is that, uh, I was able to play Spider-Man Miles Morales, because that was actually the first game I had, because I already had that game before I even got the PS5, because that was a Christmas present, so I already had that game, so I was able to play Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales, um, I was able to play Hitman 3, Destruction All-Stars, and Resident Evil 8 uh no not resident evil. yeah it was that game let's see because i was able to play miles morales hitman 3 destruction all stars call of duty black ops cold war and resident evil 8 village there we go see those are all the games that i played because i forgot call of duty for a second and it's crazy because this is the gameplay that you see in the background but uh yeah i was able to play those games for the ps5 and i gotta say those games are absolutely amazing on the PS. Amazing isn't even the word. Like the PS5, the hardware is just on a whole other level. Like it's just it's crazy because as you guys already know that the PS5 does have an SSD hardware component, and that means that, and what the SSD does is that it's actually able to give the PS4 faster loading times, and you know it just increases its speed in general. And all that like for the console and the ssd man like i'm not even joking at all the ssd on this console is just insane because literally like when i first got my ps5 and when i pressed the like the power button you should have just seen how fast it, it was absolutely nuts because the ps5 doesn't even take that long to load at all. Because, like, literally, like I said, just everything about it, it's just, it's just a whole faster console. It's just a, a faster console in general than the PS4. Because you compare this console to the PS4, the PS5 is obviously going to have faster loading times than the PS4, since, you know, the PS5 is a next-gen console. And, yeah, and when I first powered it on, I was immediately in the menu. Like, it just took me right... It just put me right in into it and everything and then you know i put in marvel spider miles morales and that game 
like to, you know you know how you guys get like a new game you know of course that's the copy the actual you know the application all that give it its updates and all that you know before you can actually start playing the game but the thing is miles morales as soon as i put that console in like the, not the console the disc in it literally it didn't even take like five minutes it took like two minutes like not not even two minutes like a minute for it to get you know it in order and all that and for its update because when i did because when i did play uh miles morales like when i first played it it did have an update because remember i didn't get my ps5 on launch day when it came out i got it f like three months later and uh it had an update and the update didn't even take that long because the ssd you know because the power of the ssd allows the ps5 to process things faster and when i played miles morales i was just immediately in like when you press like start on the game like you're in it immediately you like there's no loading screens nothing like that there isn't anything like that at all and that's just crazy and it's just it's absolutely insane because the ps5 truly is fat it's like i said it's remarkably faster than the ps4 and yeah like when you press play on a game like you're immediately in like you're it just takes you like straight into the game like that's how crazy it is like that's how extremely fast it is like it's just a really fast console and then the thing about the ps5 is that the ps5 is actually able to run at a uh, 60 fps or should i say 60 frames per second whichever you prefer but uh it's able to run at that like in at those uh type of frames and uh yeah, so even like for Miles Morales, for example, like Spider-Man Miles Morales, that game, for example. So there's actually three different modes for Spider-Man Miles Morales. You have fidelity mode, which is 30 frames per second. You have performance mode, which is 60 frames per second. And then you have performance RT mode, which is 60 frames per second. And also includes ray tracing. And ray tracing, what that is, is that it allows your console or game to have the reflective you know, surfaces like... Let's say you're on a window, like you're on the side of a building in New York City and Miles with Spider-Man Miles Morales. And like, let's say you're wall crawling up the window and you can actually see your whole reflection in the mirror or not the mirror, but in the window, which is absolutely insane because, you know, Spider-Man PS4, that game, it was a last, it was like I said, it was a, that's a last gen console. And, you know, it was not able to perform ray tracing because you know the ps5 not the ps5 but the ps4 didn't have the component power source to uh form that type of ability but yeah so in, my, in miles morales you're actually able to get you know your ray tracing reflections once again and you're able to get the 60 frames per second which basically just it lets your game just run smoother like when you look at the motion capture for the, your characters and like just the game in general you'll notice that it has like a smoother motion to it like the motion capture is smoother that's what it means with that's what i mean by uh 60 frames per second it just allows your game to run at a much smoother rate and that's the thing too because call of duty black ops cold war also has ray tracing in it um yeah, it has ray tracing in there, but the main thing, like the main thing, the real, like I said, the main star, the true star of the PlayStation 5, like the main thing that really stands out out of everything else is the PS5 DualSense controller. And what I mean, when, when I say it stands out, I truly mean it because the PS5 controller, the DualSense controller, it has haptic feedback, adaptive triggers, and it also has, you know, the the uh, touchpad, of course, just like the PS4 controller did, like the DualSense 4 controller. Um, except, you know, the controller is just more immersive. That's the thing, because that's the thing about this PS5 console in general. The whole thing that Sony's basically trying to explain to you when you have or not have, but you don't have to have it. But like the whole thing, like the whole purpose of this console is for you to have a faster more cinematic and more immersive experience than you did on last gen and with the ps5 you know you get the haptic feedback which basically allows you to really feel everything that the character is feeling in the game so let's say like for example for spider-man miles morales once again like miles morales he has this ability called the venom punch 
And what that is that it's like it's bioelectricity. It's like electricity punch that he does in the game. And when you activate his venom punch, his venom powers, the controller reacts to it. Like whenever you turn on his venom power, when you activate it, you can really feel the electricity that's like that is uh circulating, you know, in the controller. It's like you can really it really feels like something is like popping and crackling inside the controller because it's, it's very difficult to explain. But like once you actually get your hands on a PS5 or if you already do have your hands on a PS5, you'll totally understand what I'm talking about. Like you'll, you know, really understand what I mean. Say that. And yeah, the haptic feedback is great. And not only that, but like the thing is with the adapter triggers on the controller is that it really makes you feel the tension and action that the character is feeling. So like Call of Duty, for example, when you're shooting a weapon, the adaptive triggers react to you shooting your weapon that you currently have in your hand. So let's say you have an assault rifle. Uh, you're shooting an assault rifle in the game, and you're pressing R2, and when you're shooting the gun, the R2 button, the R2 adaptive trigger, what it does is that it moves up and down. Like, it literally just... It's very difficult to explain because you guys need to have your hands on a controller like for you to truly understand. You need to have your hands on this console for you to truly understand it. But the best way I'm going to the best way I'm going to explain it is that like when you're shooting the gun, the trigger like moves up and down like in a very fast motion at a very fast pace when you're shooting the the uh, assault rifle because they basically want you to it basically want you to feel like you're actually shooting a gun. And I know it's horrible to say that, but like that's that's how immersive this console is and how immersive the controller is itself because you know it, they want you to really feel what the character is feeling in the game and that's what the PS5 just does such a great job at it just and it's just amazing and then the PS5 also has 3 3D, 3D audio or 3 dimensional audio which basically is audio and this is where the immersiveness really kicks in as well so let's say, for example, you have your 3D audio uh, pulse, uh, you know, headsets that are by Sony. Because when the PS5 uh, was released on November 12th, they also came out uh, like a few weeks before. They also came out with the line of uh, accessories that you can get for your PlayStation 5. So like you can get the HD camera, you could get 3D pulse headsets, you could get the media remote, you can get you know extra controller if you wanted to. And, you know, so on and so forth. But the thing about the PS5 and its three-dimensional audio is that they want you to really hear. Like I said, not only do they want you to feel what the character is feeling, but they also want you to hear what the character is feeling. So that way, the game really draws you into the scene. It really makes you feel like you're in the scene and, you know, everything is literally happening to you. Not just the character, but to you. And let's say you're playing Resident Evil 8 Village, for example, with that game. Uh, you're in the castle and like, let's say you can hear footsteps or whatever, and you can hear it coming from the right or like your left. You can hear it come from behind you. That's that's what I mean by three dimensional audio, because three dimensional audio, they want to hear. They want you to hear everything. They want to hear, hear everything that's in your surroundings. They want you to hear all of your surroundings that's around you. And like. Let's say there's a zombie that's coming right behind you or something like that. Like if someone's approaching you, you can hear the footsteps coming from behind you. Or if someone's trying to like charge at you, you can hear it come from the right. You can hear it come from the left. Or if someone's trying to get you drop on you, get the drop on you like from the above, you'll hear everything from like above you. Like that's how immersive this console is. Like that's what next gen really is. And uh, sorry about that. That was my controller. Uh, sorry about that, but, uh, yeah, the PS5 overall, it's just, it's great, and not only that, like, you're out, you're also able to, you know, change your settings, of course, like, you can also control on the, uh, the intensity of your haptic feedback, you can control the intensity of your adaptive triggers, and you can also select on how you want to use your 3d audio like you can change, like, you can also, like, adjust the sound of it if you want to, that's what you can do on this console, and then, you know, for storage, you need another, like, SSD expansion. That's what you need. Like, I believe you can use a USB extended storage, but it doesn't work the way you think it, you expect it to, really. Because 
like I said, this PS5, totally different hardware than what the PS4 is. It has my, like the hardware, it's completely different. And you, I've been hearing that they have these SSD expansions where you had to basically take the face place off your PS5 console and you had to take a screwdriver and you had to screw it into your PS5 console. Like you had to connect it into the, uh, like the chip or whatever, not the chip, but like you had to connect it into the hardware, uh, or like into the slot. Uh, that's what you have to do with the SSD. You have to plug it into a slot and then you have to screw it in and that's what's gonna and then you know when you turn on your ps5 your ssd expansion will fully activate and that'll allow you to have more storage like two terabytes or like it, it's up to you really but i think right now there's only i think i believe there is a two terabyte if i'm not mistaken like if i'm not mistaken really like i th believe there's only a two terabyte expansion i believe for the ps5 like when it comes to the ssd expansion and that's basically what the PS5 um, does, and yeah, so I gotta say, like, the PS5, and not only that, that's another thing I also want to point out. So the PS5, it does have a much larger cooling fan than what the PS4 had, because the PS4, if you guys, like, for those of you who had a PS4, or still do have it, uh, you'll, you, all, you guys always notice how, you know, when you turn on your PS5, not your PS5, but your PS4, but you always turn on your PS4, you always notice how, like, you can really hear, like, the fan, like, all the different fans in the console, like, you hear it, like, it makes a loud sound or whatever, because one, that's only, like I said, because the reason why you hear that is because it's also because of, you know, the dust uh, buildup, because if you have, like, a dusty house or whatever like that, like, you really have to make sure you clean your console, and that's a, you know, real tip I have for you guys, like, that's a tip, honestly. Like, you guys, like, should really start doing that. You should really clean your consoles out, like, not on the daily, but, you know, just, you know, like, every week, basically, because you don't want your console to get a dust buildup, and what that, what I mean by that is, like, if you allow your console to, you know, have a huge amount of dust in the fan, it's gonna clog up the fan, and you'll get, like, the really loud noise that you hear like like for the ps4 like I because for ps4 players you guys will totally understand what i mean what i mean when i say this like if you turn on your ps4 you'll notice how like when it boots up uh it makes a very loud noise and just like when you start a new game like when you're running on a game you can hear the ps4's uh you know uh engine running and all that like you can hear it running like the motors and all that and not motors but like you know what i mean but you can hear the system running like you just hear everything aside you hear everything going on inside the ps4 system but with the ps5 completely different story the ps5 is whisper quiet and there have been people who there have been people who have uh done a sound test where they test the sound of the ps5 to see if it's uh loud or quieter you know stuff like that and just like how people do like a heat warming test the test like on how cool the fan is like for the ps5 and uh the ps5 uh it's whisper quiet you don't hear anything but i here's a really 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 helpful suggestion that i should offer you guys is that you should always always make sure that like i said it's same thing for ps4 even though ps4 it yeah, the PS4, it, it's already happened to a lot of people now because everyone's had the PS4, like, ever since it, it, 13, so it's a little too late for them because, like I said, the dust is already built up. Now, like I said, you can also, like I said, you can clean out your PS4, like, the dust, like, you can do that, but, like I said, you gotta really give it a good, 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 good cleaning, a really good cleaning. And like so you had to clean it thoroughly, dude. Like when I say thoroughly, you had to clean it thoroughly. And I suggest that, and I suggest you all do that with your uh, PS5 consoles, who are if any of you have one. Like I said, because the reason why I keep saying like why, in case any of you have one, is because you know they are still very hard to get because the shortage is still going to continue on into next year and possibly 2023. Which, yeah, it's not all that great. It's not that good. Not at all.
But the good news is that the PS5 is no longer selling at a loss, though, which is a good thing. Like, they're not losing money as they're selling the consoles anymore, which is a really good thing. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, but I suggest you all make sure to, uh, to clean out your PS5, you know, every once in a while to make sure there's no dust, uh, you know, build up in it. Like, make sure there's no build up in the fan because you don't want your fan to get clogged because you need a fan in order for your console to maintain a quiet sound, like to maintain like a, a quiet, you know, um, a quiet, you know, uh, I just lost my, I completely lost words right now. I just, I cannot speak for some reason, but, uh, yeah, but it's good. It's always good to, you know, to always give your PS5 a good cleaning every once in a while to make sure there's no buildup. And I know I keep eating that, but it's a really, 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 really important. It's really important that you guys do that. Because you don't want your PS5 to sound like an airplane whenever you turn it on or whenever you're running a game. Like, you don't want that. You want, you, when you're in your home or whatever, like when you're in your living room or your room, wherever you're at, like whenever you're in your household, you always want to maintain a, you know, quiet environment, you know? Like, you don't want to hear, like, basically the engine or, you know, like, you don't want to hear, like, an engine is, you don't want to hear, a sign in your house like an engine is running or whatever inside your house or whatever because you want to maintain a quiet environment and in order to do that you have to make sure you clean out your ps5 so that way you can prevent that from happening but uh yeah but overall the ps5 it's a very immersive console it um it gives you more variety in how you want to control your gameplay for certain games so like for call of duty you can also change you know settings or how you want it, your uh not your settings but you know you can always just change the settings for your controller and that's another thing about the controller the controller also does that's and this is a huge difference between the ps4 and the ps5 is that now your dual sense controllers will also get updates as well so like you will get a controller update you know every once in a while like i said it doesn't happen every single time like it doesn't happen frequently but it will happen you know every once in a while so just letting you guys just be aware of that. So I said, so you guys should just, you know, be aware of that. Um, yeah. And, uh, I think that really is about it for my review, honestly, but honestly, um, PS five, I highly recommend it. And I hope you guys are able to get your hands on one, but, uh, but if you guys already have, like if some of you have already have a PS five console, I'm very proud of you. Cause I know it was not easy to get. But uh, my overall review score for the PS5 is a 10 out of 10 because it gives you a more immersive and more dynamic, you know, and cinematic experience than what the PS4 generation had to offer. Even though the PS4 generation was a great generation and had a great generation of video games and exclusives, you know, stuff like that. But the PS5, it just really builds up your confidence for the future like I said, it just really makes you more optimistic and more excited. Like, it just builds up more excitement for the future of what PlayStation uh, has to offer for the PlayStation 5. And I know this Thursday, there is actually going to be a PS5 showcase now. Uh, on, there's going to be a PS5 showcase later on this week on Thursday. And I'm very excited for that because, you know... We're going to get, you know, huge announcements. We're also going to get, you know, like I said, we're going to get uh, new PS5 game reveals and all like that. But the thing is, I've only played three PS5 games. Well, not three. Technically, let's see, because I played Miles Morales, Hitman 3, uh, Destruction All-Stars. And, uh... Resident Evil 8. And that's uh, five games. Um, yeah, so I've only played five PS5 games. Uh, now, there is a game whenever... And this is for all PS5 users, like when you, when you finally get your hands on a PS5. So when you activate your PS5, you're going to notice that there's already a pre-downloaded game called Astro's Playroom. And what that basically does is that that game basically introduces you like to what the PS5 has to offer like when it comes to its power its speed 
it's immersiveness like that's basically what it is and like it's it's just it's absolutely crazy and like the ps5 controller like i said that's just the number one thing that just stands out in all of this is the controller because they want to give you sony wants to give you more immersive and more cinematic and dynamic experiences like i've said it before they want you to basically feel like you're in the scenes of these games like they want you to feel like you're actually there and they're doing a really good job with that like a great like not even good job an incredible job with doing that and Miles Morales, I thought was absolutely great. Honestly, I think Miles. Well, no, you know what? I'm gonna say that for another video. I'm not gonna say that in this video because I will do a uh top five game list. Uh, like for the PS5 games, like my top ten like favorite games, not top ten, but like top five. You know, whatever you want to call it. Basically, a tier list. Basically, I want to do that. Uh, for the for uh. Jeez, I can <laughs> I cannot speak, but uh, I think you guys understand what I'm trying to say. Like, I want to do a video where I talk about like my favorite games on the PlayStation Five, like in order, like when it like numbered them, you know, like top five. Like, I'll do like a top five list basically because I've only played like five PS Five games. So, <laughs> so yeah, so I'm gonna do a top five list explaining to all like uh, how I feel about the games and like how they play and all that you know stuff like that you know but yeah i will do that in like another video but uh thank you guys so much for watching this video uh for my playstation 5 review i hope you guys really enjoyed my review uh like i said i haven't really been doing videos all like that so like that's why if you guys notice that i'm kind of like out of order with my words kind of like because i haven't really done any videos in a while like i the video that i've recently done was a Call of Duty multiplayer video of me playing Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. But the thing is, I didn't, I, that video had no commentary in it. So, yeah. So that's why you guys notice how, like, I'm kind of all over the place with my words is that I got to get used to, you know, recording again, you know, because I haven't been recording in a while. Uh, I, I don't record as much as I used to. And I don't really do commentary as much as I used to. So, yeah. Um, oh yeah, that's right. I forgot I did that Spider-Man video where I was talking about Spider-Man No Way Home, and I can't wait for that movie, because that movie is going to be insane, like, absolutely insane, because they're really doing the whole multiverse thing, and it's really happening. They're bringing back, you know, original, uh, legend, they're bringing back legendary, uh, villains and all that, like, the original villains from, like, the original Spider-Man trilogy with Tobey Maguire and the Sam Raimi thing, so yeah. They're basically bringing back villains from the Sam Raimi trilogy. And yeah, I cannot wait for Spider-Man No Way Home. It's going to be great. But, uh, yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much for uh, watching my uh, video. And that was another thing, too, like the controller. Is that even when you take, like, like really heavy hits, like, really, really, you really feel the impact of those hits. Like, even Destruction All-Stars, that game where it's like a demolition derby game like when you ever hit it when you hit another car or when a car hits you on your right side you can really feel the right side of the controller going absolutely nuts because like literally when you get hit on the side like on your right side or left side doesn't matter but whatever side you get hit from uh you really feel the impact on like that specific side of the controller so like you get hit from let's say if a car hits you on your left side uh, the left side of your controller will react to that, but your right side will do absolutely nothing. Like, the right side of the controller will do absolutely nothing, but your left controller will. They want you to feel the impact and everything. But yeah, it's like I said, the controller is the number one thing that really stands out in all this. And although, like, the textures for the PS5s, like, video games and all that, like, Miles Morales, the textures, the ray tracing, and just everything about these PS5 games in general, like, Resident Evil Village had like incredible textures. Like it was absolutely nuts. Like you could like the fabric on his coat and all that. Like they made it just looks so realistic. Like beyond realistic, really. Like like I said, it's like we're basically playing movies at this point. Like and that's what we got from like the PS4 generation. Like they really like as the generation kept continuing on. The games just got better and better and better and more cinematic as they, you know, 
as they evolve. Like, because that's the thing. Like, PlayStation and Sony, like, so Sony, they are evolving. Like, their games are evolving. That's what they're doing. And they're doing a really good job with that. And I got to say, love the PlayStation 5. Uh, I love it, like, what it has to offer when it comes to its uh, speed. Because the loading times are absolutely insane. Like, literally takes, like, five seconds. Five seconds for a game to load up. Literally five seconds. Because once you press X, you're immediately in the game. Like, no matter what, it doesn't matter what kind of game you're playing, you're immediately in. And that is another thing, too. Like, the PS5 does have backwards compatibility with it, which obviously, which, uh, if some of you guys don't know, backwards compatibility means that you're able to play games that were from a previous generation. So, like, for example, on the PS5, you can play PS4 games on the PlayStation 5. And it's crazy because with the PS4, the PS4 did not have backwards compatibility. Because if it did have backwards compatibility, it would be able to play PS3 games. But, you know, the PS4, it didn't have backwards uh, compatibility. So, yeah, it didn't have the ability to do that. But since the PS5 has a much powerful... Since the hardware on the PS5 is, you know, uh, has more power to it, um, you know, it's able to give you more vari a much larger variety of games and more... Of it just gives you a much larger variety of how you want to play on the console. Like... Like I said, like, this console is basically your playground, basically. Like, it gives you a whole lot of variety to it. It has a whole bunch of variety. It has more options than the PS4 had. And that's why the PS5 is better, because it just gives you more what the last console had to offer. And I love the PS... I absolutely love the PS4, but this console, I, I love it even more. Like, it's just amazing. Like, incredible, really. But, uh... Yeah, but the fast loading times, all of that, like the textures, ray tracing, sound, like the 3D audio for the games are just absolutely amazing. And I played with, I played all my games with with my gaming headsets, and man, they, the man, like it just the sound just sounds so crisp. And I bet if you have like the 3D audio pulse headsets, you're you're just I just know people are gonna be blown away, and I know I'm probably gonna be blown away if I if I'm able to get my hands on the uh headset but yeah uh thank you guys for watching this uh review of the of my uh thank you guys for watching my review of the uh ps5 uh i uh, really appreciate you all for uh you know tuning in so that way you all can listen to my uh thoughts about the new next gen console and uh yeah, like I said, I'm all over the place with my words because I, I, I really got to get back into doing videos and all that because I've been busy with school and, you know, I'm really going to be busy this year considering the fact that this is my last year of high school. So, yeah. And, uh, and uh, yeah, guys, so, yeah, uh, I'll try to get uh, back into, you know, to recording more. Um I know I keep trying to do an outro, but I keep rambling, though, because it's like, you know, I just, I've been really behind on stuff lately. That's why I'm kind of, like, rambling a little bit, because I'm really behind on things. Like, there are certain things that I wanted to talk to you about, like, on my channel, like, when it comes to, you know, all new gaming news. Like, because there's been a ton of gaming news going on, like, just like the PlayStation Showcase that was announced uh, last week. I wanted to talk to you guys about that, but I never really got a chance to, but hopefully tomorrow i'll be able to talk to you guys uh about the whole playstation uh showcase thing but uh the whole event but yeah hopefully i'll get a chance to talk to you about that tomorrow but uh yeah guys um thank you guys so much for watching my uh review on the ps5 like i said i give it perfect 10 out of 10 uh perfect score like i said because it has a lot to offer you get much more variety than you did with the last console and the games are more immersive. They have better graphics, textures, have faster loading times, all that good stuff. And like I said, thanks to the PS5's SSD to give you, you know, the uh, ability to go into the games faster uh, than ever. So, yeah. Um, and that's another thing, too. Sorry. <laughs> that's another thing, too. But the PS5, if you look on the box, it says 825 gigabytes. That is not the case. 
like when really the real amount of storage that you get on the PS5 is like around 625 I believe but yeah you get over a little over 600 gigabytes so yeah so 825 gigabytes that that is not the case don't look at what's on that box when it says 825 gigabytes just ignore that because that is not the case because the reason why is because of the SSD because just like on a computer Whenever you want something to run faster, you're going to have to sacrifice storage from another component, you know, and in order for the PS5 to run faster, uh, the SSD, like in order for the SSD to run fast, the PS5 does have to sacrifice some storage for the games to run faster. So, yeah, but anyways, just a little heads up for you guys there uh, in case you guys are just now getting a PS5 now. But uh, yeah, so for those of you who don't have a PS5, I hope you guys really get one. Um, like I said, good luck. And for those of you who do have a PS5, I'm very glad you guys have your consoles. And I'm glad you guys are having fun with your consoles. And I hope you are having fun. But, uh, yeah. But thank you all so much for watching my review of the PS5. Here we go. My last time doing my outro. My outro. <laughs> I said I cannot speak. But, yeah. Thank you guys uh, so much for watching uh, my review of the PlayStation 5. 10 out of 10. You guys should get one. Uh... I really recommend. I highly recommend this console. It's great, and you're just gonna have an amazing, incredible experience with this. And Sony with this console, it just builds up more excitement for the future of what PlayStation has to offer. But yeah, guys, so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.